federal investigators will take another look at a deadly police shooting involving an Overland Park teen named John Albers. It's the breaking news you saw first right here on KCTV 5 at 4 o'clock. The shooting happened in 2018. No charges were ever filed. News of a federal investigation means that that could all change. Here's investigative reporter Angie Racona with more of her exclusive interview. John Albers was just 17. In January of 2018, Overland Park police were called to his home by his friends. They were concerned he was suicidal. John tried to leave in his parents' minivan. Overland Park police officer Clayton Jennison fired 13 shots as John left. He didn't survive. I'm John's mom and I'm going to get justice for my son. Sheila Albers has battled for information in her son's death, requesting investigative reports and statements. She never got them, just that no charges would be filed. Holy cow. Today's news was overwhelming. It, it means facts. It means evidence. It means truth. Uh, it means it means peace for my husband and I and John's brothers. Um, it, it also means that city government and local DAs have to be transparent with their communities. And that is not okay to hide evidence and facts. Overland Park has been in a harsh spotlight since the public recently learned the officer, who kept his peace officer's license, was paid 70 grand in a severance package. We need to learn from... The city held a press conference which was the illusion of transparency. And why not release the paperwork regarding his severance? Did he sign a non-disclosure agreement? First of all, the, this is a personnel matter, so we right, don't, we don't typically transparent. But we right. don't typically release those. Sure, but this is a special circumstance, right? You've got all of us here because you want to be transparent. The city defended its actions as a business decision. Much has changed since John's death. All Overland Park police officers are now required to have crisis training. That wasn't the case in 2018. John's family is now pushing for legislation to compel decision makers to reveal final investigative reports and information in police shootings. KCTV5 has witnessed firsthand how difficult it can be to get open records. We wanted to review emails concerning this case, which had been closed. This is public information. We were told it would cost anywhere between $34,000 to $38,000. The difference in cost was if emails were printed or shared electronically. And to collect those open records, it would take 131 weeks of review. That's not a typo. 131 weeks. That's two and a half years. Federal investigators will likely have better access to reports and information. The city has responded saying they promise to fully cooperate with this investigation. Reporting from the FBI, Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.